Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is gonna be a new Will I Buy It? This is my series that I post on Wednesdays where I chat over all the new makeup releases. I talk about what I'm interested in buying and not as interested in buying. I'll link my playlist down below and the community playlist. And as always, we have a lot to get through this week. So let's go ahead and get started. Hello, okay. This might be the first, no, I don't think maybe it's the first time I'm filming. Well, I think it's the first time I'm filming in like a floppy hat because I don't have a lot of hats like this. I think there's been times where I've recorded YouTube videos in like a stocking cap because I've been really cold. <laughs> but uh, opposite, it's like 105 degrees out, maybe like 107 degrees out right now in Vegas. And I have recently become obsessed with these big floppy hats to protect not only my face, but also to protect my scalp. So yeah, I'm all about these. And I just, okay, let's do our OOTD because I actually, I feel like I look cute today. Um, I bought these today from Walmart. It's just this little dress. Can you see me if I go by Perry? Just a little dress and the back is cute. And then I saw this little pink floppy hat and I was like, I'm going to buy that. So this is what I got from Walmart today. Uh, I did, I was at Walmart because that is where I got my COVID vaccination. I got my second shot just a few hours ago, but we're doing okay right now. So we're gonna get to filming and hopefully I get everything edited in time so it can go up in time. But so far I feel really great. I have a ton of energy. I went to the gym and then I started cleaning my apartment took a shower and now here we are. Uh, another reason I'm wearing my hat is because my extensions actually get moved up tomorrow. Uh, it, not ideal to have this hair appointment scheduled the day after your second COVID shot, but my stylist is uh, taking time off for her wedding. So she is going to be gone after tomorrow. So I was like, we're just going to cross our fingers and hope for the best. So no one can look at my roots. It was also why I've been wearing hats all the time. I even wore a hat to the gym today. I was like, no one needs to look. Okay. So my hair will get done tomorrow and it will be a great day. So let me go ahead Scoot over and hopefully my hat doesn't like interfere too much with, um, you know, photos and such. Okay, my air conditioner finally decided to turn off because I cannot film with it on. It is so loud. Also, one more side note, sorry, before we jump in. Um, I don't know how well you can see, but I did some filming with the new Soul Body Face and Body foundation like their skin tint that came out i just got the box today and i was so excited i had to get it on my face right away so i have uh, a little demo of me applying it and like up close shots and right now i'm really feeling it i wasn't sure if the color would be super great on me but i don't mind it and it feels really good i'm really happy right now so you can check my instagram merch beauty word if you want to see the demo of that but let's get started talking about Anastasia Beverly Hills and Norvina because we have a few different releases. I got a ton of tags on this palette. So definitely wanted to start here. So from Anastasia under like the Norvina umbrella, I still haven't really quite figured out what that's all about, but we have the new eyeshadow palette, the Norvina Volume 5. This has 25 shades in the gorgeous lilac color story. This is $60, will be available June 7th on the website. So I got a lot of tags. A lot of you know that I love purple. I love wearing purple eyeshadows. And this one, it definitely caught my attention. I like, I was intrigued. I did a double take. I was like, what's going on here? But 25 is still, I, I, I just don't need, I just don't need these larger palettes, especially I've been saying right now, my like go-to makeup is super quick and easy. I've been doing a lot of creams, a lot of liquid products. I've been doing a lot of just like, I just have two eyeshadows on today from the Sigma Ambiance uh, palette. Like that's it. I've just been doing a lot of that. Um, I've been using the Smoke Reflex from Auric quite a bit, you know, just the duo in there. That's kind of what I've been going for. So something like this larger palette, even though I think it's beautiful, I love the mixture of colors. I love those purples in there. There's quite a few other products that I have either bought recently or am going to be buying. So I don't think that I need it. It's a, you know, it's more expensive at $60. I just don't think that I need it right now. I don't think that I would reach for it, but I do think it's really beautiful. I really do. Um, and then also coming from the brand, we have some lip balms coming out. Ultra Soft Hydrating Lip Balm to Enhance Natural Color. There's three different fruit scents for, th excuse me, three different fruit scents for $18 each in mango, coconut, and strawberry. Available June 7th also. I don't think that I would need these. I'm pretty stocked up on my lip balm. I'm pretty good there. I like that there's the different scents, you know, it's always fun. Um, but probably not something that I absolutely have to have. I did also get quite a few tags on these new releases from Patrick Top Beauty, and he's coming out with his first 
eyeshadow palette. So we've had brow products, we've had complexion products, lip products. Now we get the first eyeshadow palette plus gel liners for creating the perfect eye look from every day to every night glam. So we have the Major Dimension eyeshadow palette. Let's see, this one features both cream and powder formula. There's two luminous cream bases to prime the eyelids before applying matte metallic shadows. Very interesting. There's velvety matte and iridescent metallic eyeshadows and glistening pearl toppers. 12 shades, warm and cool tones, $68. Then we also have the gel liners. These are going to be $26 each. And it says four neutral, sh four neutral shades, uh, creamy with full coverage in one swipe and sets to a bulletproof finish. Hmm. I, I feel like right now eyeshadow palettes are not what's calling to me. I've been saying this recently. It's a lot of complexion products. Really not even lip products are calling to me. It's, it's definitely a lot of complexion products personally for me right now. But I do like the looks of this palette. And I feel like especially when it said like those glistening pearl toppers. But then we have those like beautiful mattes in here. That's kind of what I'm going for. And this is kind of my vibe. I love neutrals. I feel like. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the ambiance palette. Not like, not, not like dupes, not like it's super, super close, but like the vibe, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The vibe is what's reminding me of them. So I'm like, I feel like I could, I would probably use that quite a bit. The liners look nice. I don't know if I would absolutely need them right now. The eyeshadow palette is 68. That's really expensive. Hmm. 12 shades for $68. I don't help you help me out. Would you really want to see this one? I would do it because I'm interested. If I wasn't interested, I wouldn't do it. We'll be available June 3rd on the website and Sephora. June 3rd is Thursday. Let me know because I could, I could, you know, I could go grab it. Let me know. I'd be curious. Uh, I do also see from Patrick Starr. We have online at Sephora now. Uh, the new brow line, Brow Kiki by One Size, includes the Brow Kiki Nourishing Tinted Brow Gel for $21. There's also the Micro Brow Defining Pencil for $19. I like, I like Micro Brow Defining Pencils. Uh, I have the one from Arches and Halos on today, and it's one that I really enjoy. It's like, would I try this? I definitely could. Uh, I, I don't think that I absolutely need to like run out and grab it, but... Yeah, broad, I don't know. I feel like the, is that the micro defining? It doesn't look very small. Hmm. Because I kind of like it small. <laughs> I kind of like small brow pencils, you know? I like thin. I'm just taking myself into a hole now. I like thinner brow pencils, like really micro brow pencils, like the Huda Beauty Bomb Brows. I just bought that one recently. That's really, really small. So that looks a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, so I'm pro probably going to be a pass for me right now. Maybe if I was like strolling through Sephora and the employees are talking to me and convincing me to buy everything like the last time I went to Sephora, then maybe I would consider it. But I just don't think that I need it right now. Yeah. This is kind of like sad news but uh becca cosmetics this is going to be their last launch so we've talked about this for a few months now becca announced that they are closing down in september so um this is going to be their last launch celebrating pride 2021 happy pride month with a new shimmering skin perfector high angel it's an iridescent one-of-a-kind highlight inspired by their best-selling opal shade to reflect the beautiful iridescent one-of-a-kind light that you are i don't know why that made me tear up <laughs> This is a side effect. So weird. Okay. So that's going to be $38. And they did partner with the Trevor Project in support of the LGBTQIA plus community and their continued commitment to mental wellness. And the brand uh, is honored to donate $50,000. Oh, how amazing. So this is their last launch. So kind of sad, right? I mean, we talked about this when Becca announced that they were closing. It's sad. Um, even though Becca didn't have like, you know, I didn't have a ton of interest in the releases as of lately. I still don't want to see a brand close down. I don't, I still don't want to see people lose their jobs. I still don't want, you know, I don't want to see that, you know? So I think a lot of us were really, really sad about Becca and, um, but what a nice thing for their last launch. I think that's really special. Um, I think they did that really well. So how awesome, how awesome. Um, do I absolutely need it? I don't. But it's kind of like that thing where it's like it's their last launch. You know what I mean? Like, I might grab it. I might grab it. 
I don't know. It's kind of, it's, it's like sad. It's like bittersweet, you know, Becca highlighters were some of the first highlighters that I was using when I started to get on YouTube and you know, so many other YouTubers before I even had my channel were talking about them and you know, so it's kind of, kind of sad to see, but I think it's very fitting that their last launch is going to be a highlight. So yeah, I'll be curious to hear your thoughts. Of course. Uh, let's see. Um, makeup by Mario is coming out with the new soft sculpt collection collection. Oh, three. Uh, let's see. We have the soft sculpt shaping stick. S try saying these. Okay. I'm like very intimidated right now. Um, six shades dual end it for $28. So creamy formula, easily buildable for skin types, creates a soft natural looking definition, dries onto a natural matte finish. Oh, okay. Then we also have the soft pop blush stick, six shades, dual end it $28. The Soft Sculpt Bronzer, six shades for $28. The Soft Pop Powder Blush, five shades for $24. Soft Glow Highlighter, five shades for $28. And then there's also three different brushes, all for $28. Uh, it's gonna be available June 3rd at Sephora and available now online. Hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of interested. Shoot, Magoo. What is going on? No, I'm kind of interested in these. Maybe like, oh, shoot, kind of want, yeah. The soft sculpt shaping stick sounds really nice. The pop blush stick, the bronzer, maybe not the powder blush. <laughs> I don't know, these are, I'm a definite maybe on these. I just bought a lot of complexion. I do not need these. I will be the first one to say, I do not need these releases but I'm interested. <laughs> All right, moving on, I see some new collections, or a new collection, sorry, coming from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. This is the Bad and Rougey. I'm gonna guess is how it's pronounced, Bad and Rougey. I might be wrong. A modern take on the ultimate cosmetic classic, classic rouge, uh, featuring three luxe blush formulas and a lightweight lip cushion, all in romantic, Rococo-inspired shades. Mood Light Luminous Rouge for $30. Uh, the Romance Cream to Powder Blush Stick for $22. There's a Matte Blush Palette for $45. And there's two different palettes with six, uh, you know, six things in there. Six. 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 Okay. Just getting Monica. Monica flashback. Okay. And then also the Romance Lip Cushion for $18. Available in five shades. Available on June 10th. I'm still, I'm not super interested. Um, I feel like there's some other ones that are kind of calling my attention a little bit more. The The packaging, I don't know. It, it's interesting to see. It, it looks very different from the other launches that Jaclyn Cosmetics has done, but I almost don't like it as much, <laughs> which is fine. It's just me, you know, but like it's fine. It's, it's nothing bad. I'm just saying like, I kind of like the other packaging better, but you know, like doing something different, new collection. I get it. I mean, who cares? It's, it's packaging. It's fine. Um, I, I think I would skip though, especially over the palette, the lip color. I, I, I feel like there's some other complexion products. I still need to grab. I have my, I have a shop. I have a shopping list next to me on my desk to remind me of all the things I want to buy. And I still want to grab um, the CXC beauty bronzer that I talked about last week. And now with you know some of these other complexion products I'm talking about today, the Pat McGrath blush has come out. Kind of interested in that. There's just, you know, there's a lot going on. So probably going to pass over that one. Uh, let's see though. For more, uh, is this a, wait, what is this? This is from Armani Beauty, the Melting Color Balm. A multi-use color balm in nine different shades. Coming soon around June. Okay, so that's all I see right now. I don't see a price. Probably going to be a little bit more expensive. But I really like the, I, I like the packaging on these. Like I like the compact. It looks really chic. So I'm assuming, it doesn't really say, but multi-use color balm. So you could maybe, I don't know. I'm thinking of like, um, you know, the Nessa Myricks, the Ilia Beauty. They say like cheek, eyes, and lips kind of thing. I don't know if maybe that's you know, kind of what this is going to be about. But I'll keep an eye on that one. I'll keep an eye on it. Colourpop has come out with a, a few new releases. So we have... Uh, let's see. These are available at Ulta. New eyeshadow palettes by ColourPop. The Lust for Dusk eyeshadow palette for $24. It has 16 shades. Then we have the High Tide eyeshadow palette and the Fine Feathered eyeshadow palette. These are both nine, uh, palette, pa nine palette palettes. These are both, uh, nine pan palettes and they are $14 each. Okay. Um, you know, not super interested in either of these. They did actually send me the 
like it's golden or everything is golden palette and i opened it today because i was really going to use it even though it was a larger palette i was like you know i could you know grab a couple shades out of here and it'll be fine and i looked at it and i was like it's just too big <laughs> here we go it's just too big so i'm actually going to be um getting back into the swing of my giveaways i do now have a uh, p.o box set up here in vegas so i can start you know hosting my giveaways again so i can put my p.o box on the return address safety all the good things um so that's a really big reason i mean if you do if you do youtube or you know social media at all and you send out packages for any sort of reason giveaways or whatever it may be i would definitely recommend getting something like a p.o box or a private mailbox or something like that um so you're not actually putting your own address on the boxes but i do have that now so i'm going to be getting back into my giveaways because you know that i love doing them so stay tuned because that's going to go in one of my giveaway boxes but uh none of these really called my attention i mean one is you know that purpley pink but i'm just like i said eyeshadow palettes there it, it's pretty hard to turn me right now I'm kind of surprised i had that reaction to the patrick top but you know uh, another eyeshadow palette we have from KVD Beauty. This is the new eyeshadow palette in the the Planet Fanatic palette. It has 14 shades inspired by Earth's colors and elements, 8 matte shades, 6 glitter shades. Uh, I just see coming soon right now. I don't see a price on it. I don't really love it. Packaging doesn't really do anything for me. It definitely didn't immediately turn my attention. I'm just kind of like, all right. And like I said, eyeshadow palettes are real going to be real hard for me to get interested right now so that would be a pass for me and then a new eyeshadow palette also coming from lunar beauty she's replacing life's a drag this is say hello to life's a drag facelift includes 21 shades the original had 14 with neutrals bright colors mattes and shimmers and this is going to be 48 dollars will be available on june 2nd okay a little bit larger once again a lot of different colors in there. Um, congratulations to Lunar Beauty and Manny MUA for another uh, collection. I don't think it's necessarily my type of vibes, um, but I think a lot of people would really enjoy this one, but it, this one's going to be a pass for me. Uh, let's see, from MAC, I touched on this last week. I just mentioned the highlight, but we do now have the full collection, the Botanic Panic Summer 2021 collection from MAC. We have an eyeshadow palette, the Extra Dimension Highlighter, um, there's a blusher, and then there are some lipsticks, including Ruby Woo, <laughs> okay? Um, and all of these are coming soon. Nothing really strikes me from from the collection. I like those yellows and, you know, some of those soft purples, but overall, I just, not it it just didn't call out to me. Um, the, the That highlight, like I mentioned last week, I've used a highlight like that from MAC and a lot of it was overspray. The MAC lipsticks are fine, but I'm not really reaching for mine as much anymore. I'm usually just going for like a lip liner and some gloss or a matte lip if I'm going to be out wearing my mask quite a bit. I still like to go for my matte lips for that. Yeah, I don't, MAC just really hasn't called my attention in a while. It's funny because I was actually talking to a gentleman here about my job and one of his first questions was... Um, do you wear a lot of MAC? Do you like MAC cosmetics? And I was like, not really. And he was like, really? It's like a staple brand. Like, I know about it. I was like, yeah, I don't really though. <laughs> so, uh, so that's, that's going to be a pass for me. And then I see from Morphe, they are once again teaming up with the Trevor Project for Pride 2021. I think they've done this a couple times now, which is really great. This is the Eyeshadow Palette 25L uh, volume 2 artistry palette. It will be $20. 100% of net proceeds from this palette will be donated to the Trevor Project. Donations of 100% of net proceeds. So this is going to be available in June on the website. So like I said, I think that's great um, that they do this and they've done it now for a while. I think it's a, a really amazing cause to see that. Uh, so this one is, you know, a little bit larger rainbow palette. So it's not going to be something that I wear you know, all that often. So it's going to be a pass for me, but you know, definitely wanted to mention it. I'll have it linked down below. Uh, let's see, what else do we have to chat about today? So I see Made by M Mitchell. M Mitchell. We have, uh, we love their liquid blushes. Now Made by Mitchell are extending the liquid formula to bronzers. This is the new Blush Bronzed. Blushed Bronzed. Okay, we have eight different shades um will be what is it will be available tomorrow okay okay i like uh, the shade range looks really nice 
No, it looks really nice. Wow, that's really amazing. How exciting to see that. Wow. Should I do it? Ah, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I definitely, once again, don't need it. I'm not gonna sit up here and tell you lies right now, okay? I do not need it, but curious to hear your thoughts. Well, let me know. Let me know. Oh man, oh man, what a mess. Okay, from Spectrum Cosmetics, they're coming out with the Core Cosmetics Collection. It includes the Pinch Pot for $25, which are cream blushes, because of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? Uh, we have the Dark Matter Mascara for $23, the Glowful Mist for $25, and the Glowful Primer for $25. Out of everything, I'm most interested in those blushes. Good, 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 good. I don't know, the packaging is kind of intriguing. It almost looks like a button, like a, like you go to the hotel and you're like, I need assistance, you know? I don't know why, that's what it reminds me of. Once again, I absolutely do not need this product. I haven't tried Spectrum Cosmetics though, but I have to say this really like called my attention. I just have a problem. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Cream products are just making me so happy. Cream and liquid products. They're making me so happy right now. I have the Persona. What do I have on today? I always link all of my makeup in my description box, but I have on the new Persona bronzer. I'm trying to get my makeup monthly, which I'm hoping will be Friday, but there's a few products. I just wanted to test them out just a little bit more, um, but I really wanted to include them in this month. And so I want to review the Persona. Oh, I just have the Charlotte Tilbury, um, blush on her blush wand and then natasha denona super glow obviously from elf cosmetics this is interesting they're coming out with a new putty primer but this is the acne fighting putty primer clean formula with a potent pot potent punch of a 1.8 percent salicylic acid to help prevent the development of new acne while smoothing skin to prep for makeup nine dollars will be available june 3rd on the website I like the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I, I'm not always a huge fan of it because I, I would have to like, you know, stick my fingers into it. Usually I would just like run my nail through it and whatnot, but I'm definitely using my fingers a lot more when it comes to my makeup these days. And I did struggle with hormonal acne for a while and I still do want to, I still want to make a video about everything that was going on during that time. I'm just not exactly sure when I will because there's just been obviously so many changes in my life and all of it has affected everything. My 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 mood and my spirit, um, medications I was on. I mean, just like the whole nine yards, you know? So I, I still really do want to be open about that time because I think what I went through would be really important to talk about. Um, it's just not, it's not quite the right time yet, but I'm sure that we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Um, but my skin has just been so much better. Um, I think once again, a medication change has a really large part to do with that. I really got into self care when I was, you know, really, really struggling, you know, a few months ago self-care and these like skincare nights and just nights to relax and just taking better care of myself that really became kind of my fallback to help you know get me through um and i think that made a really big difference and then you know being here i'm just i'm really trying to to stay on top of my skincare game a lot of hydration a lot of spf covering my face as much as i can so much water i have this gigantic bottle that i just keep filling up from my fridge and you know i try to drink a ton of water throughout the day and, and, and such but my skin's definitely been doing so much better and i'm super grateful for that so like i'm kind of interested in it i just don't know if i absolutely would need it anymore and my skin is also changing i've said my skin has been changing from oily back to dry which makes sense given my new climate i just moved from iowa to vegas if you do not know so definitely the climate changes is really uh really affecting my skin too but i don't think i absolutely need it right now but like i would and you know what i know maybe i shouldn't because i'm also not using primers as much i think this was in my members only video when i did my um i did my members only video for for may uh was voted on to do a day in my life in vegas and i did some of my makeup in there and i said i'm not really using primers a whole lot more i'm using sunscreen as my primer because i just really want to make sure i'm getting my sunscreen in and things have been going fine for me though i really haven't had like a lot of makeup melting moments so you know so i probably don't need it 
I feel like I just talked myself out of it because I was like kind of feeling it, but I, yeah, I probably, probably don't need it. Uh, okay. Let's see. What else do we talk about? Um, maybe is this the last thing? Uh, Valentino Beauty. This is very chic and luxurious. Oh, so are the prices. We have a Go Clutch, $235, an accessory makeup hybrid designed by, I'm going to pronounce the name wrong, smaller than an iPhone and can house a powder or a bronzer and a mini lipstick. Okay. Then we have a twin liner for $40, a stick with me glitter primer for $25, a mascara is $32. We have the Valentino lipstick, which is $55. Or the refill is 30 in 50 shades. And there's also minis. Holy buckets. This is huge. A Go Cushion in 5 shades. A foundation for 64. Eye to cheek 58. Glitters for 32. A brow trio for 40. Pre-order is on June 25th. And worldwide in August. That's. Okay. I don't. Is this new? Valentino Beauty. No, we finally get to see what Valentino Beauty is all about. Gorgeous. Everything looks beautiful. Gorgeous packaging. It does look very luxurious. Interesting. I I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen a whole yet lot. A whole, what? Uh, I'm like really flustered because I'm like, wait, I'm not really quite sure what all this is about. Do I need anything from it right now? I mean, wow, 50 shades of that lipstick. I mean, that's no joke to come out. If this is their first launch, like that's uh, that's no joke. Uh -uh, no joke so i'm probably gonna hold off for right now unless if this is a brand that's really interesting to a lot of people and you would want to see me check it out you know definitely let me know in the comments but i think i would probably be okay passing on it myself let's see that hiram let me go to his page he is launching his brand selfless by hiram available glo globally at sephora june 24th so i don't have all of the details at the time that i'm filming i don't see all the details yet i've just seen like a few different trailers looks like he's teamed up with the inky list and create like there was something about the the inky list um i'm not sure if he's put out a video yet if he has i just haven't seen it yet but i will be watching it because i'm very curious about this a huge congratulations to him this is so exciting um like what a huge thing so yeah I, i'm gonna be curious about it for sure especially if it is you know kind of in conjunction with the inky list because i do really like the inky list also um so yeah i i i think this is awesome so i'm sure i'll be able to update more after i see everything and we have all the products and ingredients and you know all the things but i, I did uh want to mention that one also but other than that that's it that is it hey hey for this week's will i buy it video I hope my hat wasn't too distracting to anybody. Like, I don't know how people feel about hats and videos, but this might not be the last of me that you see in a hat. I'm not gonna lie to you. And right after this, I just have to go pick up berries from daycare and I'm like, gonna wear, I feel like I'm going to like the Kentucky Derby or something, but you know what, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, I think it's cute. And it was not that expensive from Walmart. So I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good today, all right? Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know all your thoughts in the comment section. As always, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go. And I'll see you in my next video.